As I brainstormed how I wanted to present my work in video form, I was reminded of two conversations, one with my mentor Laura Clark and the other with my teacher Rebecca Grella. Laurel told me about her husband's winery and her project called Merlot for Monarchs. It's an initiative to get milkweeds planted to help out our local pollinators by finding a way so people would actually donate to the cause. Second, Dr. Grella has said many times that science is art. So, I decided to put my art into science. Ever since 1999, New York has been facing a crisis. Local staple crops such as apples, grapes, and pumpkins have all been on a decline. Why? Because in the same 20 years that crop counts have been falling low, so have the population of our pollinators, most notably the rusty patched bumblebee. This beautiful creature, once native to New York, has vanished for a long time and is the first of many to join the endangered species list. Other species of bumblebees are on the decline too. Franklin's bumblebee, crotch bumblebee, and cuckoo bee have seen staggeringly low numbers. Other bees are predicted to be on the decline too, such as mason bees, carpenter bees, and millitids. But the larger point is to see why. Why is there such a widespread loss of these vital insects? Only 1.6% of the 36,000 farms in New York State refrain from using pesticides. One of the most common chemicals used on farms? Glyphosate. It's on our lawns, on our fields, and on our pollinators. The herbicide glyphosate, marketed as Roundup, is commonly used on fields where bees pollinate and is expected to be non-toxic because it targets an enzyme supposedly only found in plants. However, bees rely on a specialized microbe also targeted by glyphosate. The exposure to this herbicide disrupts their microbiome, leaving them open to infections and pathogens which are lethal. Bumblebees, rather than living in a massive hive, live underground, which puts them at an even higher risk to glyphosate exposure. New York has such a well-known agro output, and at the rate we're going, there might not be much left beside memory to show for it. Why wait for this to become an issue that's too late to fix? I refuse to let these bees go. We can do something to help them. So I will be selling my artwork to raise money for research and conservation efforts. We will preserve the rest of them so we don't have to see another loss in biodiversity in our state and can continue the prosperity of foods in New York that we know and love.